Good morning, Team McAuliffe. Today is Wednesday, March 15th, 2023, and we will now begin our day together with morning announcements. Please stand quietly and respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence to think about what we are going to do to make the McAuliffe School a safe and happy place for all students and staff. So I hope that everybody enjoyed the snow day yesterday and stayed safe and warm. I can't believe we got more snow in March than we did most of the winter. But um, welcome back. Glad to be back at school. We did have some birthdays yesterday that I didn't get to announce. Vera Lee in room 202 and Sanaa in room 117 both celebrated their birthdays yesterday. I hope that you had great days. We have a staff birthday to celebrate today. One of our tutors, Miss Middlemiss, celebrates her birthday. Hope that you have a great birthday today. Looking at our National Days calendar, today is National Shoe the World Day. Did you know that over 500 million people right now do not have shoes on their feet because they don't own shoes? And this can lead to all kinds of problems from something as simple as being able to get a job Two, injuries happening to your feet and infections. It, shoes are something that a lot of us take for granted but and are so important, but so many people do not have them. The next time that you grow too big for a pair of your, your shoes, instead of throwing them away, maybe ask your parents if you can donate them. There are a lot of organizations that will take your shoes and get them out to people who need them. One is called Souls for Souls. So that's how we celebrate National Shoe the World Day. Yesterday, we were also supposed, supposed to check in with ST Math. We have done over 600,000 puzzles. I want to celebrate that, as well as our top puzzlers and those who are working really hard in third grade. Here's that. Great job keeping Gigi moving. Keep this up and we might, we just might hit 1 million puzzles by the end of the school year. We also were supposed to check in with March Book Madness yesterday and we were supposed to check in on the matchup of everybody in the red brick building versus action because we had not seen the book action yet. I did post that on social media for your parents to take a look at with you. We don't have time to do it today, but um, I, because I want to get to the next matchup that we're supposed to cover, and that's over in the blue bracket, that is gibberish versus this joy. Now, we already saw gibberish about the boy coming to the school where he didn't understand the language, but was able to make a friend. We had not gotten to check out this joy on the morning announcements yet, so we're going to do that right now. Welcome. My name's Mrs. Haley. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Lowell High School. And I'd like to introduce you to some of the players on our Varsity Unified Basketball team. Today with me, we have Marcus, Garrett, Nathan, Tommy, and Ethan. They have a pretty big basketball game coming up this afternoon. So before that, we want to read what we think is going to be the best book of the year. If you like this story, please vote for us. This Joy by Shelley Johannes. I loved the pictures in this too, guys. My arms aren't big enough to hold the whole world. With all its green and all its blue. But when I feel this happy, it's all I wanna do. 
my tiptoes aren't tall enough to touch the treetops or reach the clouds. My legs aren't long enough to cover all the ground. My feet can't feel every grain of sand or wade into every inch of wild. I don't have enough fingers to count all the people, but I wish we could share a billion smiles. My voice isn't loud enough to express all this joy. Even with a microphone or a megaphone, or even if my friend doing backup on the xylophone. The alphabet doesn't have enough letters. Letters don't have enough sounds. Even when I try and try and try, giddy, glorious, grateful, speechless, why isn't there a word for just feeling this alive? Maybe it's an exclamation mark. Maybe it's a song, a quiet one, or a noisy one. Or the kind where everyone sings along. Is it birds in flight, squirrels at play? The squint of my eyes in this symphony of light. Let's see. Or a hill where I can roll a wish I can't catch, or laughing I cannot control. Today is a gift. My arms can't hold. Although I'm small, my heart is tall, and my arms are exactly the right size for holding you. Pretty good. We love it. We think this is the best book of the year. If you think so too, you should vote for This Joy by Shelley Johannes. And this is from the Unified Basketball Team at Lowell High School. Okay, so there's this joy. Pretty cool to see Miss Haley and the unified basketball team at Lowell High School reading that book for us. Now it's going to be your turn to vote tomorrow. Which one do you like better? This joy or gibberish? We also missed Tuesday trivia yesterday and Miss Sargent had a question for us. Good morning, boys and girls. Tuesday trivia here with Mrs. Sargent. Many times after a rainstorm, we see a beautiful rainbow. Boys and girls, could you tell me how many colors there are in the rainbow? Once again, how many colors are in the rainbow? Please give your answer to your teacher. And everyone, have a great day. Okay, there you have it. Students, get your answers in. Teachers, give me the names of the students who got it correct. We'll spin the wheel tomorrow to find out who our winner is for this week's Tuesday Trivia with Mrs. Sargent. Now students, we have been finding a lot of wasted toilet paper on the bathroom floors. That is not where it belongs. We want our bathrooms to be nice and clean for the people who are going to use them after us. We also don't want to be wasting toilet paper. If we use it appropriately, we have enough for everybody. If we waste it like some people have been, we're gonna run out. We don't want that to happen. Please make sure that you're being responsible in the bathrooms and not creating a mess for our custodians to clean up. I think that's all of our announcements for today. Remember, McCullough students are stars. That means we strive to do our best. We take responsibility. We're always positive and kind and we respect ourselves and others. If everybody remembers to be a star today, then we'll have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day, McCullough School.